Hey guys, it's us. <laughs> This is the perfect intro. We, every time we ever film together, this isn't even my channel, go. This is my channel, I think. This is my channel. <laughs> my channel. Keep going. Reset, all right. So, I was, long story short, Jessica was like, hey, let's do a Q&A for your channel. I'm like, awesome. And I was like, let's keep it under 10 minutes. We always take so long to do these. Under 10 minutes and we're gonna be done. Okay. We've been sitting here. We haven't even started yet. We've been. Can I <laughs> live is in shambles. We've been laughing in these stupid chairs for 30 minutes. We still haven't even started yet. Oh my gosh. All right, we we're did starting do a now. Thumbnail. Okay. Pinocchio, you're not getting the glasses. Pinocchio's that you making us laugh. Everything is funny. Oh why? Just tell me a story about her mom that made me laugh. Oh goodness. Uh, All right. Okay. So we're doing. <laughs> Crap! I lost favorites again. So. What are we doing today? <laughs> so we're gonna do a Q&A for my channel. We're gonna do it quick, under 10 minutes. <laughs> they know it's on your channel, man. They're watching it right on now. On my channel. <laughs> so we're gonna do, try and do it quick. We're gonna do rapid fire questions. Okay. All right, do, what, what are some of your favorites that, that you picked up? Okay. Jessica posted this oh, on I Twitter. I posted it on my Snapchat. Um, okay. I'll post those links below if you guys want to, but we're gonna do a Jessica, Jesse, Jess, Jesse question first. All right. Um, what are the things you are most looking forward to when it comes to being parents? Why can't I read? Reading's hard. Okay. I don't even know. So, I'm excited because it's a girl. And... <laughs> I'm picturing where this could have gone because what if it wasn't? Would you, when that question was asked, you'd say, well... Well, I mean, no, I mean, I'm, I'm like excited because yeah. I'm not a very, like, like manly sportsman. So if like my son like was like really into sports, I'd be like, oh, I, I, don't, I don't know how to talk to him. <laughs> the shirt you're wearing. I'm wearing a Golden Girl shirt for God's sake. <laughs> Pinocchio. Uh, he is, Pinocchio, what we are just you gave so Pinocchio about? a bath. That'll be in a vlog at some point. But we just we put peanut butter on the wall, and he was licking the peanut butter while we gave him a bath. It was a great thing. But he's all wet and he's not happy. <laughs> Why is everything so funny to us? I don't know. So what are you most excited about, for real? So, I don't even know. Like, I, I'm excited for like tea parties and things like that. I, don't, I mean, I don't even know. Like, I'm like excited like, to hold her and like see her little face for the first time. I, well, yeah, I mean, of course, like that stuff. But I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited about everything. Like, I've never changed a diaper in my life. That's gonna be a whole, I mean, I told Jessica when we first found out, I'm like, I need you to tell me everything as though I'm a toddler. <laughs> Learning this for the first time. Explain it to me the way you explain it to a four-year-old. I said, <laughs> if you tell me that a baby stops breastfeeding at six months, or if you tell me that a baby stops breastfeeding at three years old, I would believe you either way. I know I was the youngest. My brother was, I mean, I was in my 20s before my brother had his first kid. I, I, I know nothing about children, so it's all gonna be exciting and, and new and, scary. and terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to just screw her up too much. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. What are you most excited about? Um, I'm excited to see your little face. <laughs> We're trying to break ourselves. We're trying to break ourselves. Wean I'm ourselves off of Pinocchio. Pinocchio's voice. It's so hard. She's gonna end up with. I'm gonna talk to her like a, a college-educated human, <laughs> human adult. <laughs> That's weird. But um. I see you pooped your pants. What ah. do you think about that? <laughs> I hear that you are crying. <laughs> wow. How does wow. that make you feel? Wow. 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 <laughs> anyway, um, I'm excited. Like the nursery, it's been so much fun setting that up, and we're still yeah. working on that. And I love getting the registry. I'm like literally on our registry, constantly Always. editing and like, oh, well, I did now. I shouldn't get this now. I need well, this. The problem version. is, you're watching all these YouTube videos, and like all these YouTubers are like, so when I had my first child, I wanted this, this, and this, and just because like, oh my gosh, I, I need all those things. <laughs> I'm like, add, 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 <laughs> and then the next YouTuber's like, uh, yeah, everyone recommends this. Uh, I don't. I'm like, oh no. Okay, <laughs> I add, add, add. <laughs> So I'm, I'm slowly, you know, I'm curating a bit, but um, that leads me to another question though, because a lot of people have asked, and I've tried to post it on a few things, but I'm still getting asked, um, where we're registered. We're only registered at Bye Bye Baby. We talked about doing like Target and Amazon and, I was and a couple looking on different there, things. Target has a lot of cute clothes. That's the thing. That's yeah. I think the biggest difference. But we're currently just registered at Bye Bye Baby because they really do have like more than we most, ever need. Yeah. They're mostly into babies. They're like it's, it's super like into babies baby at Bye Bye heavy. Baby. But um, we can put our registry link below because we've gotten so many sweet things from you guys and we cherish all of them. 
And I'm planning on doing some kind of like a virtual baby shower on my channel. I was talking about my Snapchat earlier. I don't know. You, I don't think I've even told you this. Um, but since so many of you guys are sending us things from our registry and um, etc., cetera, uh, I thought it'd be fun to do like a virtual baby shower video on my channel where I like show like all these different things you guys have sent and all that stuff. But and a lot of you guys were like, uh, yeah, that sounds fun. Because it's just fun. Yeah. But you know, it's funny because I like, I like to think I'm, I'm a good person, but then like, People will send us stuff from our registry, and from I'm our like, registry, what? and I'm like, I, I, I how are I there that many nice people in the world? Like, I, I literally, I am like, my heart is like just so full <laughs> because you guys are so sweet. I, I literally, like, Jessica's like, oh, like two more things were bought, and I'm like, I, I can't even. I know it's fathom so incredibly how sweet you yeah. guys are. It, it blows my mind. And this little goal is so <laughs> lucky. Sorry, I gotta break it. I gotta break it. Stop. <laughs> She's right. gonna heal you one day. <laughs> If you hear crunching, it's Pinocchio chewing a bone because it's like his pacifier. <laughs> <laughs> he was barking at us, and this is. He said, "I just wanted a bone." This is the better option. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so somebody asked, um, I, know, "I know you want to take your little girl to Disney. Um, you're going to wait till she's a little bit older. How long do you think you'll wait?" Mm. A oh, and will you travel without her? So ah, that's a great question. That's a very good question. So we've, we've talked, talked a lot this, yeah. about this because obviously we travel all the time. That's like a, a huge thing in our lives. Mm -hmm. And so me growing up, my parents traveled a lot without us to answer that part of the question first. Mm -hmm. My my parents traveled like they went to Paris and London and Arizona and Antigua and all these amazing different places because of the, the company that my dad owns. It's a long story, but basically they were able to take all these amazing trips and we've talked a lot about it and as a kid growing up, like I never really missed them. Yeah. What's going Sorry, on? Sorry, she did a like a flip and it felt crazy. <laughs> so getting used to that. The kicks I could get used to. Go on, go on. Okay. I'm just reacting over here silently. Crazy. This is, this is, it is wild. It is wild. Uh, ah! So my parents did travel uh, quite a bit without me and and it never really affected me. Like I enjoyed like we, my mom's best friend, Joanna, who's a great family friend and my aunt Melinda and all these different people that we ended up, you know, staying with or who would come over to our house and watch us. Like that was like fun for me. It never really bothered me that my parents traveled without me. And so I think we've talked a lot about it and I think our kids will be fine. And so if we do want to do like one day out of the, or one, one trip out of the year, if we're like, you know, let's take like four or five days and let's take just a trip with the two of us. Cause that's so important. To have time Especially for just since the that two was something us. important to us beforehand. Too, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like traveling specifically. Well, and there was see, I'm forgetting who said it, but I just I just saw something the other day, and the line was basically it was some quote from gosh, I just I told you about it. I don't remember who said it. But basically it was that the most important thing a father can do for his children is to love their mother. And it's so I completely agree. Obviously, I don't have any kids yet, but I completely agree. But I think it's so important for us to have time still with just the two of us. And I mean, we're not going to want to take, you know, three month long trips and be no, away, you know, which we've never even done anyway. <laughs> right. But I mean, if we take a week to go to somewhere with just the two of us and, 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 and grandma watches us, I mean, that, or grandma watches the kids. I don't, I think it's going to be, yeah, we're going to do that. And we have two sets year, of parents so that are important. all in for babysitting. So. We got aunts and uncles oh and gosh. family friends yeah. and and our kids are going to be literally the cutest children who've ever walked this earth and the smartest. <laughs> Not biased at definitely all. Be definitely by far. <laughs> so everybody's going to want to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to end up being like brats. <laughs> like, what are we doing Total wrong? Total jerks. <laughs> oh no. Um, so hold on. So real quick. I'm just, I'm looking at the next question. Okay. So uh, as far as Disney goes, that's the thing. Oh yeah. The other part. That. So taking our kid to Disney, obviously we will take them to Disney a billion oh, times. right. But when do we want to take them like as far as like age-wise I never I haven't really thought about that because I hear I hear both the arguments people say I want to take my kid when they're six months old because it's more about the parent at that point I want my kids picture with with Pooh Bear yeah but it's like they're not gonna remember but they, they it. Won't remember it but is you know so it, I really see it kids don't ways. remember much before like five years old exactly or, you know for so they're gonna think it's it'd be magical more, like I mean I yeah when and I was talk a kid, about it for a bit but like even Chrissy she's brought some of my sister has brought some of her kids and like a few years after that you know we've asked them like Hey, do you remember? And they're like, no, I've seen the pictures. I'm like, it's so crazy, yeah. but you're right. It's but at more that point, for us. it's more for them. Yeah, it's yeah, like, oh, I love this picture that I have with 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 Eeyore here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll just kind of feel it out. Well, I feel like we'll know. Yeah. When it's like, let's just do it. But I I have clients who take their children as young as six months, and I have oh, yeah. clients that wait until you know my 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 daughter's finally eight years old, and we are ready to take mm -hmm. her to Disney. So, I, 
there's That's both. Just... There's no wrong answer. And I think as much as we do Disney, and as much as uh, you know, it's my job, literally. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to go, we have to see these places, we have to experience these rides. Well, when there's that's new stuff job. for real. Yeah, exactly. Like Toy that, Story yeah. Land, you know, I need to know about this stuff because I can't tell my clients about it without knowing about it. We were asked, what is one thing you're most excited to share with your baby girl at Disney? So like once we do actually take her, because I've even talked about how excited I am, like looking at all of like our Disney movie collection, I'm like, oh my gosh, we get to introduce her to like everything. <laughs> yeah. That's Because she's awesome. going to know, like, nothing. nothing. <laughs> like, we get to teach her everything. We were, we were just talking about, so we went to, for Jessica's birthday, uh, we got tickets with our friends Ben and Emily to go watch uh, Harry Potter 4 um, at the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra, and they played the music live over the movie. It was the coolest thing it ever. Was really but we were talking awesome. about, <laughs> we were talking about, like, we get to introduce our daughter to Harry Potter. Like, it's literally been a huge part of my life since like like third grade when I first started reading it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, she doesn't know anything. She doesn't know any of this stuff. It's going to be so awesome to introduce her and mm -hmm. X amount of kids that we have she eventually. She keeps kicking while you talk about her. She's like, Dad. Listen, I, I hear you. Could you, you almost slipped into the voice and you stopped yourself. I did. You got a dog here. I was going to leave it. Oh, goodness. It's warming me. <laughs> it's fall. But yeah, I mean, we get it. She doesn't, she's going to know like nothing. <laughs> I love it. It's so true though. It is kind of a wild thought. You start getting lost in your brain like, like she doesn't know anything. Like we've got a teacher. You start thinking, okay, anyway. Yeah. But, okay. <laughs> what, what just happened? So thinking about Disney then, what we're the most excited about? Like, I'm excited for her to see characters in real life for the first time. Like princess and stuff. Even just seeing them. Because I remember even as an adult when I first saw them, I was like. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a big deal. <laughs> it is. So yeah. that will be really neat. Um, and just like little things that to us have become so old hat at Disney, like parades. We're like, oh, they're fun. And they are. And we won't pass them as we're on our way to But it's going to be yeah. so new to her. Yeah. That's going to be Yeah, cool. absolutely. And things like it'll be exciting for a long time because she'll get to different heights. So as she like, oh, now you're tall enough to ride roll, rock and roller coaster. And right. that'll be a decade from now. And it'll right. still be exciting. And yeah. Because we've ridden rock and roller coaster a thousand times. Mm -hmm. But for to take her on the, you know, for the first time, it's going to be so exciting. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. Um, so somebody uh, sent me on Snapchat. Are you ever going to do the Disney videos you talked about when you announced you were going to be a travel agent? <laughs> that is funny. It's true. So I literally I have this list because I, as a travel agent, I get asked the same forty questions. Sure. Over and over sure, and over. FAQ. Again. <laughs> really. And so I have a whole list of things that I like want to do videos about because people ask me, like I said. I know what you guys are wondering about, and I know you guys what questions you guys have, and I'm gonna do a whole series of them. We literally have filmed one. I don't even know if you remember this. It we was filmed the one. Right yeah, it was it was about staying on property. Yeah. And I, I edited it, I uploaded it, and it's been sitting on my like on my YouTube thing for like months, and I just never have made it live. I know because we like then we got, I got it's already do, edited too. Yeah, because then I, I I uploaded the Ireland vlogs. I'm like, well, I don't want to put it in the middle of the Ireland vlogs because I don't confusing. think anyone cares. Well, I didn't know that at the time, <laughs> so then we got into the baby moon vlogs. Like it just it's been sitting there. So I it's literally uploaded, ready to go. But what's funny now, I'm like, is it too late to upload it? Because at this point, we talk about things like you know the 60 day fast pass window and things like that, which now, like literally a couple weeks ago, they said there's off property hotels now where you can get the 60 day fast pass window. So that's wow. like already irrelevant. No, yeah. we recorded it like six months ago. And so it's funny because there are so, because I mean, I work full time, you work full time. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that we have filmed that I'm like, I literally haven't even uploaded yet. It's hard yet. to find the time. And so, like, I mean, if, if you guys still want to see those videos, I have like, I, like, I have videos from my trip alone in September of 2016 when I went for the travel agent training. Mm -hmm. I have videos from Chicago when we mm -hmm. went in 2016. I have San Diego. I have... Uh, that one will be fun. Barcelona. I have Disneyland. I have all these videos like from the last like year and a half. And I'm like, at this point, it, would you guys even still watch them if I like edited them now and put them up? If you if you would watch them still, comment below. And I will, still, I will still edit them and get them up as quickly as I can. Or thumbs it up. Thumbs or up thumb, the video. You thumbs know up I mean? the video. It's a quick... Exactly. I'm data. I'm a teacher. I'm like, that's a, that's that's really a quick, quick way to do it. Quantitative data. 
Because I feel so bad because we have all these amazing videos and I look at my like all this footage I have mm -hmm. and I'd love to do it But I'm like at this point we're so far behind like if I think you saw be cool though I would saw, watch like vloggers I love like if it was a year ago I, like, I probably wouldn't even notice Wouldn't Sandy even care I'd just yeah. watch them Like San Diego September 1st 2017 <laughs> Would you guys still watch Which that? Which was about six months ago Because <laughs> if so if, if you if you would still watch them I will edit them and I will get them up <laughs> But don't be worried like if <laughs> I was looking at some of our footage. There's one where like Jessica and I are drinking in Barcelona, and I don't want you guys to be like, <laughs> Jessica, you're pregnant. Jessica's what are pregnant. You doing? Why is she drinking? <laughs> you just got a long like, time ago. If you guys want to see them, I will still, I will edit them and put them up. But I think let, oh, let, I I vote yes. Let me Give know. it a thumbs up if you vote yes as well. <laughs> that is funny though. I didn't think about that because we were trying like absinthe for the first time, not yeah. like the hallucinatory absinthe. Yeah, they don't have that anymore, as yeah. far as I know. Well, I don't know. But yeah, and no, definitely not pregnant. It was over the summer. That's but funny. anyway, so to answer her question, um, <laughs> yes, those are still on the books, but we both work full time, and so it's really hard to find the time yeah. to edit and get those ready. It is. Okay, so someone asked, what's the best part about being married and what's the hardest? I feel like we're on a game show. Hmm, I'll let you answer that. First. Oh, we're both, I was like, first! Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best part is like, no matter what kind of a day I had at work, if it was an awesome day, I'm so excited to come home and tell Tyler about it. If it was an absolutely horrible day or they're just hilarious <laughs> stories to share, I'm well, excited yeah. to come home and tell Tyler about it and sing, see little Ding Dong, but I'm not married to Ding Dong, so. I'm married to Ding Dong, not Ding Dong. Hmm. Anyway, I'm but. basically married to Ding Dong over there. <laughs> um, but I think that kind of like comfort too of like, I get to come home and it's, it's you here and you're my BFF and I can just like, we can have our little cheese and crackers date and just like talk. Although it's become pita chips and hummus date lately. Yeah. And it's been delicious. It changes. It changes with the season because we used to do like, you know, like I would have a glass of wine and some cheese ready for Jessica when she got home, but then she got pregnant. <laughs> Unbeknownst went ahead to me. And screwed that one up. <laughs> so now we just have cheese and cracker dates, which is fine, but it's. I like chocolate milk with cheese and crackers. I think I like that better than wine. Whoa, well, there you go. With cheese and crackers, seriously. But we also have somebody, chocolate speaking milk. of that, somebody asked us about. Um, oh yeah, the our, our food rituals, which because is so funny. We, we didn't realize we had so many. We do. We really do. Like cereal date in bed. That's a whole thing for us. So that it started when I worked for thing. Marriott, and for a long time I worked from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. And so this is before we were married, and we were still dating. And at 11 p.m. I would get off work, and Jessica lived fairly close to the hotel I worked at, and this at, with her parents. And mm -hmm. I would get off work at 11 p.m. and be like cereal date question mark and. I yeah, would go over yep. at like 11.30 p.m. and we'd sit at her kitchen table and we would eat cereal table, yeah. at 11.30 p.m. and eat cereal. So now, even still, that's lasted this many years and we... Now we just do it in our bed. We have cereal <laughs> date in our, in our, in our bed, marital watching bed. <laughs> watching Bob's Burgers. Watching Bob's yeah. Bed. It's the and best. We, yeah. yeah. We always have a lot of cereal on hand. Always. 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 Five cereals We've minimum. We've never run out of cereal. Because if I'm like, oh, we only have three there cereals was one left, time. we need to buy two more. There was one time when we ran out of milk, and it was the, literally the darkest time of my life. I had almond milk I've that I was I've lived a very share. privileged life. <laughs> That's the worst moment of my life. That's, yeah. But you will not drink my almond milk. It's terrible. It's fine. It's not. It's not fine. Oh, the hardest part about being mad. Wait, you oh. never answered that. Boy, you snaked your way right out of that. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> So the best, what was the best part of being best married? Best part of being married and the hardest. You never answered the. Hardest. I know. I'm gonna think about okay. it. Okay. The best part of being married. It's hard to pinpoint. Like it really is because we're I'm just like happy. Yeah. I, here's what I'll say. Marriage is all happiness if you marry your best friend, because then it's just all great. It's all gravy. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> it's. I mean. Yeah. Every day, I look forward to like Jessica coming home at like 3:30 p.m. Like I, there, I mean, and then we, of course, we have our like cereal dates are my favorite. Cheese dates are our favorite. All surrounded by food usually. <laughs> like we're like we're, as of right now, we're really into the Crown. We like that's my favorite. We uh, like I, everything is my favorite. Just just make sure that you don't get married for the wrong reasons. You just get married to your best friend and take. You see, I need take your time. wipers right now. I think the other thing is take your time. I think a lot of people like rush into marriage, especially when they're our age. You know, if you're 25 to 30 and you're, or even 35, mm -hmm. people rush into marriage, and I've seen it so many times. Like they rush into it because all their friends are getting married. Just take your time. You know, I mean, yeah. just make sure that you're gonna enjoy. Like we were together for almost six years. Yeah, five, almost six years by the time we got by the time married. we got married. I'm like, I knew 
by that point, we hadn't lived together, but by that point, I knew. I knew we were, like, gonna have fun, like, literally all the time. And the and I thing is, too, we never take anything all that seriously. Maybe that's a big part of it. Because every once in a while, like, I'll get upset. Because it's not like we never right. tiff, but we never, like, fight, fight. And I've thought about this so much. I'm like, why is it that, you know, I'll talk to coworkers or I'll talk to... And, you know, people don't get along with their spouses. And I'm like... Now, of course, some of them have been married longer. And that's, of yeah. course, with time... But we've been we'll together see. now. We might hate each other. In a couple it's been of years. almost eight or nine years. Then we've been together almost eight uh, and a half. Then eight and a half years. Um, and like I'm trying to figure out, like, why is it that we don't like fight, fight? Like, why? Because I still get annoyed by things, and you still get annoyed by things, or just like I'm impatient at, with something else, and then like he... the other day, Jessica, like Jessica, always brings home her lunchbox and she doesn't empty it, and then like the next morning, I'm trying to pack her lunch for the next day. <laughs> And she has a yogurt in there that she hasn't even touched. I'm like, Jessica, we could have put this back in the fridge. It would have been fine. But we don't <laughs> have to sit out for 24 hours. <laughs> but yeah, so like that, you know, I'll be like, ah, oh, Jess, come on. But, it, but that's, that's it. like the most. You know, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. And then we just cheap. move on. <laughs> yeah. But like, even like when we have like kind of tiff tiffed like little bits, and like I'll leave the room or something. You know what I mean? Or you, it's usually me leaving the room because I'm like an escape artist. I'm <laughs> like a <I'm> mad <laughs> bye. But like usually, no long, no more than an hour passes, and we both like just hug. I'm like, I'm sorry, because it's none of it's long. that yeah. deep. None of it is that deep. Yeah, I mean, as long as you it's don't not. screw up completely, in which case you know what you've done. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but other, other than, than that, those things, I mean, just deal with it. It's just not just, that deep. Yeah, nothing's that serious, and I think that that goes for everything, whether it's marriage or not. Just everybody takes a lot of stuff real seriously. Just, just, yeah. just take a break. Just like a joke is a joke. Just relax. What, what was that line in the crown we just saw? The it was a random character. He wasn't oh, like yeah. a random character. He like, said, "Would, would you, you join us in the real world for God's yeah, sake?" Yeah. Would you grow up and live in the real world for a second? <laughs> yeah, because like, the guy's freaking out about something that's so dumb, and he's like, "Live in the real world for a minute." Like, yeah, like it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> um, okay. All right. We're gonna do a rapid round before we sign off. Yeah. So I have a bunch of questions here on my Snapchat. We're literally gonna go through and answer these as quick as we can. Okay. Are you gonna do? Oh, so we'll switch. Okay, switch back and forth. Yeah, yeah, Perfect. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, how many children are you both thinking would you like to have in the future? Sixteen. Three. Perfect. Oh, I thought you were going to do three. I'm sorry. What yes. do you think? Two. No more than three. Three at the most. Okay. You pick one. Okay. Um, no, that's already been asked. What do you think your biggest fear or thing you're nervous about when you bring a no newborn home? Everything. I l I'm so terrified about I'm everything. just like strapping it in the car. Like, I don't even know how to do that yet. I was telling Jessica, though, quickly as I can. I was telling Jessica, though, I'm like, I'm more nervous about the birth than I am actually bringing the child home. And I'm not even having the kid, but like, I oh, feel trust so. Me, I'm nervous about the birth, too. I feel so powerless. I'm like, I can't. I I'm going to stand there and support you as much as I can. You'll but be like, there. It almost makes I'm me just more be nervous. Like a Big Mac on the side. Like, I'm almost more nervous because there's nothing I can do. I'm like, I'm just, I want to. It terrifies me. But like, once you bring the child home, we're like, I can't. you like, ah! Other than Disney, what is the first place you want to travel with the little one? Um, gosh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. I like not New even New York. We were just watching. <laughs> I know it's weird, but we were watching uh, the not the Macy's things. Uh, the the uh, the Rockettes. What's their show? The Radio City Music Hall Christmas thing this year. Oh yeah, that was cool. And but was... maybe as a toddler, you know, not like as a. Infant. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, like, yeah. I'm sorry, I was a little older because it was so magical to see that as like a you know because there's maybe all these like at the kids, holidays. Yeah, yeah, like four or five years old, like around there. I, I don't know. That's a good question though. Yeah, I don't know. Lake house. Yeah. We don't own one, but just a lake house. It's <laughs> funny to me. I know we're doing like a family trip with my family to like a kind of not a true lake house, and she'll be going with us because that's like in September October. Yeah. Anyway, Paris. she's gonna love Paris. All right, yeah, just Europe in general. <laughs> yeah. Okay, quick, Big Mac or Quarter Pounder? One, two, three, Big Mac. Okay. <laughs> no, no question. Yeah, but Quarter Pounders are delicious. Now I want McDonald's again. Ooh. Okay, what's the main character trait you want to instill in your baby girl? What? <laughs> Acceptance of all people. I was gonna say open mindedness. Yeah. Open mindedness. Yeah, hundred percent. Just more because. That's everything. There are a lot of people we know that just aren't accepting of all people and it bothers both of us to our core yeah. and i think that that's just going to be it yeah just whether you agree with them or not accept acceptance. them as human beings and accept them as they are yeah well he's responding to us now how did you tell family about the baby and how did they respond um we invited both sets of our parents over one night they were the first people we told oh yeah um 
and we just had like dinner with them and we mm -hmm. told them and it was and I think they kind of figured well, it out because it was like a Monday night and we were like hey Super mom obvious. and dad like I told my mom and dad and her mom and dad were like hey you guys gonna come over for dinner and they're, and like, they're like okay and like we it was like well, Thanksgiving right before that and you didn't drink any wine at dinner oh yeah my aunt and your figured it out who's her my godmother dad was like uh, I think Jesse's pregnant I'm like, uh, like dad uh, can we just, at least have a surprise <laughs> like just like Listen. literally we can't surprise anyone with anything. Anyway, but that's how, and it was fun, and then we, it just kind of trickled out to the family, we told some of them. But you know, the reality is, overall, I think a lot of people have said, like, do you still plan to travel as much? And we, I think we do. Because I think if we take one trip a year with us, just the two of us, I mean, until, you know, until she gets, you know, five or six years old, because I still want to, like, I was listening to Rick Steves, and on his podcast he was talking about, he took his children every year to, to Europe, and he said, I wouldn't have changed a thing. And Samantha Brown talks about traveling mm -hmm. with her children all the time, too. Mm -hmm. And... I think more than anything, that kind of shapes who they are. It shapes their worldview. It shapes, like, I mean, until you travel and actually see these places, mm -hmm. it's just a concept on a map. You have no idea what it's really well, like. Well, and like you said, if our one trait we're wanting to instill in her is just being open-minded, what a great way to be more open-minded and Absolutely. accepting. You're seeing all different kinds of people. Absolutely. Not just in America. Yeah. Which America is a, really is a melting pot. I mean, yeah. it, but it's still so different in other countries. Absolutely. But yeah, I do think, I, I want to travel as often, especially as she gets a little older, but even as she's younger, mm -hmm. taking a week for just the two of us to go and do something, whether it's going to Mexico for a week, going to Europe for Listen, a week, Listen, Hawaii whatever. is very high on my Hawaii. list. Hawaii. Yeah. But see, the other thing is too, like, we've talked about doing like a big family trip with the Bronze, my mm -hmm. side of the family, mm -hmm. every couple of years. Like we did London a couple of years ago. And we will definitely, so like if awesome. we do that, we are so taking. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, my pregnant wife is very tired. We're gonna try and wrap this up quickly. But, <laughs> uh, like we will still take her to London. We will take her to Paris. We will take her to because I, I want her to experience those things. Even if she's young, I still want to make that happen. I think, and it's still even if she's not going to remember some of that stuff, it's still going to be a deeply instilled. Like she gets used to certain right. things, yeah. even if it's more in her subconscious. Exactly. You know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. We'll see if it works. Yeah. <laughs> We've got great plans. Well, <laughs> Jen Dennis, who a is friend of ours. has become a friend of ours. And a subscriber, she asked Tyler, have you started Gilmore Girls yet? If not, why the heck not? And if yes, <laughs> are you Team Logan, Team Dean, or Team Jess? Think long and hard about that answer because there's only one right one. Okay. I love Gilmore Girls. Yes. And, I am yeah. trying to convince him. I'm like, it's like the Golden Girls, but new. <laughs> and nothing like it. It's nothing like the Golden Girls. No. From the How would you seen, know? Yeah, I wouldn't know. It's nothing like the Golden I am Girls. Not. So here, okay, so I started the Golden Burgers a couple weeks ago. Not that show is Goldbergs, yeah. Goldbergs, not the Golden Girls. That I've is seen, I've seen these girls a thousand times over. That sounded so weird. They're my girls. They're my girls. No, you're I've not seen, understanding what I'm saying. I've seen these, these girls, girls a thousand times over. <laughs> How did I catch that? It was the way you rubbed your chest. Mm, this is my girl. <laughs> Pinocchio. <laughs> Do you guys want to see naked Pinocchio? Gave him Can a bath, him and so his, yeah. Tell me, I'll come off. Tell me, I'll. Oh, hell. Why not? I'll pay. Come on, he said, oh, I did up dial. Oh, I'll pay. Tell me. He loves it. It's soft oh, fur. Oh, he said, hi, everyone. Oh, Pinocchio. What you, what, what about dial? Why? He hell? said, no, my toys. Here, we'll just hypnotize him. Pinocchio, what dial? Oh, <laughs> what a good boy. His fur is flying everywhere because he just He's, goes back. He is two and a half years old. Oh, goodness. He will be about three when she's born. Won't you? He'll be about three years old. <laughs> she's going to love the heck out of you, dude. We've trained him really well because I like squeeze him so hard and like play with his ears and like play with his paws that I'm like, I think he's going to be really good with kids. He's really good with young kids like when we bring him to my parents' house. So yeah. He's a very we'll sweet see. boy. He's a high protectable. Don't so that's my little sister. It's so funny because he does oh, follow shit. Jessica around and he like will lay his head on her belly. All, like he knows. He just knows. I know. And it's funny because like I am instinct. not his favorite. Tyler is definitely his favorite, but he does follow me around a little bit more. Just animal instinct. He just loves it. You got your baby sister now. You got to put that. What? Don't touch your toy. Come on. He said, no, now I'm comfortable. <laughs> I just no, he won't get well, we can end the video with him up here. Uh, anyway, so no, I have not started the Golden, or, the golden Girls. I have not started Gilmore, Gilmore Girls yet. I'm gonna finish the Goldbergs, and then I'm just so tired of hearing about it. Maybe I'll start that next. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's a good one. I'll rewatch it all with you, obviously. Alrighty, so I think we're gonna sign off. I'm pretty tired. We got this, a, we got dinner in the crock pot. We I tried to answer as many together. questions as we could. That was yeah. a 10 minute video. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be 40, 40. 30 maybe. 
Um, but so comment below if you want to see those older vlogs <laughs> or thumbs it up either way. Let me know if you still want to see them because if so, I'll try and edit them as quickly as possible and get those up. Barcelona, Chicago, all those San, San Diego. Diego. Uh, Disneyland. Disneyland. I know. I didn't. Not I, Disney World, but Disneyland. Working full time and trying to do it's YouTube okay. is hard. So, jeez, <laughs> you guys can't see the fur. We need to blush him. Uh, also, if you want to see a pregnancy update where I like talk all about the pregnancy and like complications and scares we've had, and just it's a very like raw, honest video. But um, if you're interested in that side of things, because we touched on it obviously a lot in this, but it wasn't really just about the pregnancy. If you're interested, I will link my or I'll can you link <laughs> I, yes. my uh, up my pregnancy update and just all about yes. it down below. And also, real quick on that note, we uh, so I'm gonna try and get those older videos edited mm -hmm. if you guys want to see them. But I'm also gonna try and do at least like bi-weekly videos or monthly videos. Just like a vlog, because we film all the time. It's just trying to find the time to edit those. So if and you, then again, so much time passes. We're like, well, now it's exactly. Just weird so just don't be ago. confused if I do like Chicago 2016, and then the next video you see is gonna be like, you know, our vi our vlog from this month. So yeah. just so you know, I'm still gonna try and do those for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. We will try and do more of these in the future. Yeah. And we will catch you guys later. Bye. No, <laughs> oh, you jerk. Look how fat he is. Look how thick he is. There was so much hair in the shower after I gave him a bath. He said I wasn't right. even. We that. were taking a thousand years. We were like, <laughs> we 10 minutes, and we've been here an hour. We haven't even started yet. Alright. <laughs> Just start it. Hey guys, it's us.